Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the CamView 4 channel wireless security system. You'll receive the NVR unit, a quick installation guide, a pack of 4 hard drive screws, a remote control, an AC adapter for the main unit, a USB mouse, a 3 foot CAT5 cable, and 4 individually packed wireless cameras with AC adapters. The only thing you'll need to provide is a SATA hard drive up to 6GB for recording the video footage. I'll be using this Western Digital 500GB 2.5 inch hard drive. To install it, use a mini screwdriver to remove the four screws holding on the cover for the NVR. There's two in the back corners and one on each side. Then connect the hard drive to the power and data cables inside the unit. And screw the hard drive onto the case from the bottom. Here's what it looks like installed, then replace the cover. On the back of the unit are two 7-inch wireless antennae. Along the bottom is the VGA output, HDMI output, WAN input, USB port, and power port. In front you have some onboard playback controls, menu selection keys, as well as various indicator LEDs. This model does not have a front USB port. Each camera comes with a 7-inch antenna, waterproof housing for the Ethernet connector, a pack of wall mounting hardware, and an AC adapter. On the front, under the lens, is a light sensor, so the camera can detect when there is low light to activate infrared night vision. On the right hand side is where you'll attach the antenna. The camera can pivot 90 degrees, and to set the angle at the joint, use the small Allen wrench in the hardware package to loosen the adjustment screw. The camera body is made of metal and very durable for weather resistance. Setup is basically plug and play. The power cable connects to the barrel port on the wire coming off the back. The other connector is for an optional LAN connection. Once plugged in and powered on, the camera will be transmitting a live feed. So all you need to do is turn on the NVR unit. I've connected the NVR via HDMI to my TV for monitoring, but note that an HDMI cable is not included. The output resolution is HD at 1080p. Once booted up, the NVR will search for the four cameras and connect to them automatically. This may take several minutes. You'll have to format the hard drive before you can record to it, and I found it easiest to navigate the menus using the USB mouse. You can also use the remote control, which requires two AAA batteries that are not included. In the settings, you can change things like the network settings, or schedule different times and triggers for the camera to record. You can also monitor the cameras using your smartphone by downloading the CamView Cloud app from the Google Play or Apple Store. The app requires you to sign up for an account to use it though. You'll also have to connect the NVR to your Wi-Fi network using the Ethernet cable. There is no option to add the NVR via Wi-Fi. After adding the NVR to the list of your devices, you'll be able to see the four camera feeds live on your phone. And you can do this from anywhere there's an internet connection. No need to be connected to your home network. Tapping one screen will zoom in on it. Here's a night vision view of outside my house. The infrared allows you to see everything as if it were daytime, although the image will be in black and white. Here's a normal video feed of the living room. On my phone, the video appears to be slightly washed out, but the color representation and resolution are actually decent on a TV monitor. Here's another infrared view of the inside of the house with the lights in this room turned off. In portrait view, you can play back previously recorded video and download still images and clips from the video feeds. To access them, back out of camera mode, touch the me icon in the bottom right, then select local records. At the top, you can select images or videos to view screen caps and clips that you've downloaded to your phone. You can also download videos directly to a thumb drive on the NVR using the USB port, though you won't be able to use the mouse to navigate the menus. Overall, the security camera system is pretty quick to set up, and it's easy to use. The instructions could be more clear on how to add the NVR to the mobile app, and nowhere does it mention that the default login for the menus is username admin with a blank password. However, once you're up and running, it's pretty simple to check on the cameras and review or save recorded video. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.